Um, obviously, I was in last week just training with the boys and that, uh, but to finally get the, the deal signed, is, I'm over the moon. You played with Hearts, they won the league last season. Did you still see this as a step up? Yeah, um, I think it's a massive club. You know, we all know the history of Rangers. Um, so I think so, and coming in, you know, the standard's great. Uh, like I said, just delighted to get, get the contract done and uh, get in as a, you know, a player now. So what do you bring to this team then? I think, um, you know, when I went out alone last season, I, I managed to get a few goals and stuff like that. So just if I can um, bring some goals and you know, some creativity, but I think the squad's the main thing, uh, the team. Um, but since I've been in, there's been a great togetherness and hopefully we, that's off the park. Hopefully we can take that on the park. What would you say to people that would maybe question your ambition because you decided to stay in the championship rather than, than go up? No, people can people can talk all they want, you know. Um, like I said, I've kept me a massive club here. Um, there's no doubt in that. Um, and since I've came in, you know, the ambition that everyone showed, uh, the management, the players, um, that's not in question. What did the manager have to say to you? Did you need any convincing? No, not at all, no. Um, obviously, it was, it was down to me when I came in to you know, try and impress. Uh, thankfully, I've done that. Um, so, like you said, we're just looking forward now. Did you have a, an offer from Hearts to, to stay there? Yeah, it was, there was an offer, but um, you know, I, th I think maybe just a new challenge is maybe needed. Um, I think that's you know, it's a case quite often in football that players sometimes just feel the you know need to move on and stuff like that. So that was that. Was there an indication that you, you might get the, you might not get the the game time that you desire at Hearts? Yeah, maybe. Um, and like I said as well, I think just maybe a fresh challenge for myself. Um, and like I said, I'm just delighted to get it done and looking forward to the season. Given how well you, you did it on loan at um, Sheffield United, are you surprised that the Hearts didn't do more to, to try and keep you? Um, no, that's football, it's part and parcel. You know, as, as a player, you just need to take it in your stride um, and uh, get on with it. And like I said, I'm a Rangers player now, so I'm, I'm just looking forward to the season ahead. Jason, you obviously come in at a time when there's quite drastic change at the club. Do you see that as an exciting thing to be part of a, a, a new manager and a lot of new players as well obviously. Definitely, uh, since I came in the door um, I could sense a real excitement around the place um, from the players uh, on the training ground uh, and I think you know it's I think it's it's good to it's great to be part of this this squad in this season. This time last year I think most people would have probably predicted that Rangers would have gone up as, as champions of the championship, clearly that didn't happen you were Part of that, I suppose. What, what I mean, what do you need to do to win the championship? It's not just a case of, go, you know, assuming you've got the best players, so you're going, you're going to go up, is it? No, I think, um, you know, obviously we've got a good squad here, a really good squad. But I think, you know, just uh, hard work, like I mentioned before, togetherness, um, and just a real, you know, team morale. And so far since I've been here, I've definitely saw. So them, um, so like you said, we just need to continue working hard as a as a squad, and you know hopefully we can we can do well. You obviously have played against Scott Allen last year, and Rangers are trying to bring him in. What would he add to the how how much of a boost would that be in terms of the championship ambitions of Rangers? Would that be? That's not for me to comment on. Um, as a player, we just we just do our jobs on on the park and the training field, and you know other matters will take care of themselves. But as a, as a player, would be a, a good addition to the squad, presumably. Yeah, he's a, he's a good player, but like I said, um, that's not for me to comment on. As a player, you've seen him at close quarters on that midfield. What, what has he got? I mean, he was player of the year last year in the Championship. What is it about him that's so special? No, like I said, he's a good player. Uh, there's no doubt in that, but, you know, he's, he's a Hibs player just now, um, so it's nothing to do with us. Like I said, we're, we're players at Rangers and we just concentrate on the task, which is doing well in the training field and on the, on the pitch. How important is it, Jason, to, to set a marker on Saturday? It's the Petrofac Cup. It's probably not Rangers' greatest priority in the, the whole scheme of things, but it's against possibly your, your, your main rivals for the title. Yeah, you know, we want to go there on Saturday and win the game. There's no doubt about that, you know. Um, we want to go there and win um, and try and set the tone. Um, and if we can do that, then that'd be great. Did you speak to Danny Wilson before deciding to come here? Um, briefly. Um, and uh, when I came in, obviously I was in on trial to start with, so. When I came in, I, I got to. I knew a few of the boys previously from Hearts as well, and they all said great things about uh, what they'd seen so far, uh, the training, the management. So you know, it was great to hear those things. You, you've played a, a few kind of different positions in the midfield. You've played, you know, deeper lying and, and further up the field. Where do you see your your best position as? Just anywhere in the midfield. 
Um, you know, if, if, I'm sure if you ask any player if you're selected, you're happy, and then wherever you're picked to play, you just go and do your best. Is, is competition within the squad a, a concern for you? I mean, Scott Allen, if, if you were to come in, would be another midfielder. There's already been a lot of arrivals. Is that something that you're thinking about? No, I think um, competition in a squad it can only it can only be a good thing. Uh, I think it it makes you you know perform better. And, you know, competition. I think if you ask anyone, it's a great thing to have in a squad. Given how everyone's talking about Scott Allen, then would you like going up against him on Saturday? Would you like to outshine him then at Easter Road? It's not about personal, you know, battles or stuff like that. It's about the team. Um, and like I said, we want to go there and win. If the team can win, then it's great. What, what, what would it do? Can we read anything into the, the result of Saturday for the season ahead, given everyone expects Rangers and Hibernian to be fighting it out at the top? Obviously, it's a cup game, um, you know. Um, so, but I think both teams will be going there to win. There's no doubt about that. Uh, like I said, if they can win, then you know, it's great and it sets us up nicely. You said at the start you've not been in that long with the boys. How are you, given you played on uh, Wednesday in terms of fully being fit? No, I'm good. Um, obviously, I think the boys were in, I'm not sure how long before me, you know, I came in last week, but previously I'd been doing uh, work myself and stuff like that, uh, working hard to, to get, get in shape for wherever I was going to go, and I've came in and I've, I've done well with the boys regarding fitness and that, so no, I'm ready to go. What about the team as a whole, Jason? It's the pre-season friendly, obviously, on Wednesday, and I think it's been a mixture of kind of bounce games. The preparation's been probably not ideal in that, in that sense, but do you feel yet the team are ready to go out in the park for the first competitive game on Saturday and give a, a good account of themselves? Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, the boys have had uh, three games, but also the intensity of training has been great as well, uh, so that definitely helps. So um, the boys are ready to go.